poco loco, un poquitito loco, the way you keep me guessing, I'm not in there. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie, but today I am Pepita. Pepita means, I think, nugget or like pumpkin seed. But basically, Pepita in Coco was a spirit guide for the grandma. I really liked all the spirit guides because they were kind of mixtures of different animals. And thought Pepita was beautiful in the movie, so I thought maybe it might be fun for anybody who's out there and likes to do a colorful Halloween look. It's very simple, it just does take some time. I feel really cute or whatever. It's like a combination of everything all mixed together. It's definitely one of those looks that looks really bad until it looks good. And if you take the time, like people are gonna be like, what are you? And then you'll tell them, you know, I'm Pepita from Coco. People are gonna be like, you know, because everybody does Dia de los Muertos, but come on, like, be a spirit guide, you know what I'm saying? Be something different. Wear a blue wig or a green wig. Enjoy the video. Comment down below if there's any other tutorials that you would like me to do. I don't mind doing a Dia de los Muertos look, but I thought I would do a spin on it because it's a little bit more different. We're gonna be all uh, natural with a bun. So, if you're ready, three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, no, I warned you. I warned you. So I'm wearing a tube top. Don't think that I'm naked. Por favor. So starting off with a clean face, I decided to put some moisturizer all over the face just to prep it for all the paint that was going to be happening. I decided to use the Farsali Skin Tune Drops just to prime my skin, but you can use any primer that you like. And for those who didn't know, Pepita was actually a alabrije, which are those little animals that you can see around that are multicolored with many different shapes and designs. So to map out Pepita's designs and shapes, I used a white eyeliner because there's more room for mistake, I guess. So I drew out the mouth and then got around the eye. I gave myself two little lines down each sides of my nose. Now for the paint, let me just let me just tell you something really quick. These are called the Snazaroo Paint Cakes. You can get them at Michael's. I think this whole thing cost me around like $70. Uh, I don't know, but they're water-based basically. And you just add the water. Depending on how much water you add, the consistency will change. Using quite a bit of water, you'll get a look like this. It's kind of more sheer and you can see my skin through it. But if you use a little bit less water and kind of move around your sponge or brush, you'll end up getting more of an opaque look. Now I started out with more of a sheer coverage just to map it out for myself. Taking a brush, I started doing some of the detail work. Now nothing needs to be perfect right away, but getting little details like that little triangle that was on the top of Pepita's forehead, I wanted to get a start on that. Taking another clean brush, I decided to go in with the orange and it, this is where I say like it kind of looks bad until it looks good. It just, it's just best to take your time on this part and really marry the orange and the green together and take your time, make sure that nothing's getting kind of like blurred together and you're not affecting either of the colors. And then going in with the yellow, doing the same thing. Now with the yellow, I noticed that it could kind of get finicky with a brush. So make sure you're using a nice soft brush and take your time. And just taking that little detail brush and filling in the triangle. I added the blue, this cute little button nose. You see that little button nose? I decided to fill that in. You get up all up in those nostrils. You know what I'm saying? Get all up in the nostrils, get to know them, ask them 21 questions. And I would like to take the time to mention that all of the brushes that I was using were from Michaels. It was in this $5 set that came with 25 brushes. I'm sure you'll find it like right away when you're in the paint section, but I didn't want to ruin all of my actual makeup brushes. So I decided for the main colors to just use, you know, the cheapy guys. <laughs> so now that I filled in the red parts, I decided to clean up the brows, you know, with that green concealer. With those red lines that go down the sides of the nose, just take your time with them because I did have to go back and clean up the yellow parts later on. Then I took the orange paint again and decided to shape up the eye area and use it as basically an eyelid color to mimic Pepita's eye shape and color. So I decided to take the Naked Heat palette and just add some dimension by using Cayenne and En Fuego. I wanted to do a kind of glamorous version of Pepita by adding some contour and highlight to the face to make it look a little bit more wearable. 
going in with the dual ended TARDIS eyeliner, I wanted to deepen the eye area by tight lining and doing it on my lower lash line. Then I went in with a feline flick because Pepita is a cat <laughs> and also just to bring some dimension and detail into my face. Then taking the Urban Decay Electric palette, I took the color Gonzo and just smoked out my lower lash line. And then taking the color Game Over, I just did some detail work on the lower lash line and on the nose. Used some NARS Climax Mascara. And then I noticed that the yellow paint was kind of cracking. So I just moistened my finger and took my time and blended it back out again. And it didn't give me any problems after that. Now for lashes, I did use the Ardell Wispy Lashes, but I wish that I had used something bigger, so I definitely recommend using something a little bit more dramatic. And then to give my jawline and cheekbones some help, I took the color Poison from the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette and just defined and contoured my face. Then to do some work on the lips, I put the color Nectar from the LA Girl Endless Lip Liner and took a lip brush and put some orange lipstick on top. And as I mentioned before, in costume makeup, you want to bring out as much dimension as you can. So I took a white eyeliner from LA Girl and just brought out my Cupid's bow. And so this is the fun part, okay? Take a detailed brush and just go all over your face with yellow. Now, to make your face look more lifted and more cat-like, I decided to use the lines going up on my face and kind of avoid my jaw area, as you can see, because I wanted to lift, you use lifting motion. And really take your time with this by using different brushes and white eyeliner to bring out dimension. And I wanted my lips to have a little bit more something something, so I put some of the Diamond Milk from Fenty Beauty all over my lips to add some shine and sparkle. And now it's time for the last finishing touches. So I decided to put a wig on. You don't have to put a wig on. You could spray your hair green. You could do whatever you want to do. I, however, decided that I wanted to do a blue wig just to bring out that little bit of blue that's in Pepita's horns. And then I took a green bandana, put some of those pipe cleaners in it to make sure that it was nice and sturdy. And the bandana ends up kind of looking like little horns. So that's just great. Now taking the red pipe cleaners, you can bend them into being little ears and then start tucking them underneath your bandana. So the bandana kind of serves a lot of good purposes. It holds the ears, it adds to the fur, our little tiny horns, and kind of make it a little bit more glamorous and cute. Then taking any gold eyeshadow or highlighter, I just put it on my cheekbones and collarbones. pictures if you end up doing a look like this I would love to repost the photos if you end up doing it and please comment down below if there's any other looks that you would like me to do or comment down below what you're gonna be for Halloween because I'm thinking I'm gonna be Jasmine and Jorge will be Aladdin but I know it's cheesy but you know it's cute or whatever I hope that you all have a great day and another really cool look for this would be if you got yellow contacts but you know I'm not trying to do all that I already have weird eyes <laughs> Make me un poco loco, un poquititito loco. The way you keep me guessing, I'm nodding and I'm guessing. Now count it as a blessing.